A local commissioner would like to stop the spread of graffiti in her community, and she's willing to hand out a payday to anyone who can help. Our Rudy Harper has more new at 10. Almost a decade ago, Commissioner Marguia declared war on graffiti in the Argentine community. Her efforts paid off, but now an uptick of eyesores in this neighborhood, and she's taking action once again. Photos of unsolicited graffiti covering homes underneath overpasses, even on this church. I knew we had a problem. For 12 years, the undesirable work has been documented and erased by community members. Some graffiti sends messages about criminal activity that was committed. Some graffiti sends messages to people that might be threatening their life or their family's life. Um, which can lead to homicides. Commissioner Marguia, a resident of the Argentine community herself, says vandals target high traffic areas, and while the problem is under control, they've seen a significant uptick. It makes people in the community feel unsafe. It is counter to my work in trying to recruit businesses to this neighborhood. Marguia is offering a $1,000 reward of her own money to anyone that has information leading to the conviction of these criminals. From the commissioner's home to her SUV, she took us on a ride along to see some of the property damage. This was all graffiti. Patches of paint along the 12th Street Bridge now conceal some of the graffiti. Can you see SPV? We took a closer look at this homeowner's fence on Metropolitan Avenue. It's been hit time and time again. That one up and then this wars over the top of it. RJ Samuels, a military veteran, has spent the last four years washing away the street language. He has a message of his own. And what is that message? This, this is our little enclave. This is our city. And uh, we're just not going to allow that. You see this box right here? Mm -hmm. That was all covered. With it's a community effort to stop the issue before it becomes worse. There are a lot of people that care about this neighborhood. The commissioner also working hand in hand with the KCK Police Department. A $1,000 incentive, she says, a small amount relative to the issue. In the Argentine community in Kansas City, Kansas, Rudy Harper, KCTV 5 News. Thank you, Rudy. Right now